Hey everyone, it's Autumn. Today I wanted to go ahead and do a video where I kind of chat with you and just do my makeup. I This is the makeup look, um, spoiler. But the purpose of the video is just pretty much to catch you up about um, everything I'm up to, what I've been doing, um, if you're interested in that. And then also if you're just wondering how I got this look, um, that's part of it. This is a little bit different for me. Um, if you notice, I don't know how yellow it looks, but I used yellow eyeshadow and I'm actually really enjoying this look. It's a little bit different for a winter look. It's very fresh. Um, and I normally don't do a colored lip, but I'm really enjoying it. So if you guys are curious how I got the look, keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I just put on my sunscreen and I'm hoping that I don't get weird flakes all over my face once I apply like primer and foundation and everything because I noticed that like in my hairline and in my brows, I've got little like flakes from the sunscreen. Um, so that isn't promising. Also, I have my iced coffee here for the morning. All right, so this isn't really gonna be like a super formal get ready with me um, where we talk about a ton of products. I just kinda wanted to catch you up on everything since I haven't filmed a video in a while and also like the direction of my channel and just kinda chat with you guys about like what's going on and all of that fun stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and comb my eyebrows up. I'm not gonna do them right away, um, but I kinda wanted to get those like weird flakes out of them before I started. So first you're gonna notice that I have like a mouthful of braces. I think that the last video or one of the last videos that I filmed, I had bottom braces on in part of the video. And part of the reason why I haven't been filming a ton of videos is the fact that I had um, a palette expander in the top that gave me a horrible speech impediment. But really, um, it was removable to where I could take it out for videos. But um, me being an adult, Um, those palette expanders were really hard to take in and out and um, you could really only take it out for meals and it was like a super huge pain and all that stuff. So I have that out now and I have my top braces on. Um, so now I can film videos again and it not be a huge ordeal. I, I'm sure I could have filmed it before but I just didn't want to have to deal with the speech impediment and all that stuff. Actually I'm going to go in with this primer right here. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer by um, First Aid Beauty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Um, so anyway, that was one of the reasons, I hate when people come on and they do these videos where they talk about all the reasons why they couldn't like film. Um, this isn't my job, I actually have a job outside of here, but actually right now for the next couple of weeks, my daughter's on break from school and she also started doing um, virtual learning because our county went into purple and I don't know if all states like have like a color coded system, but our county went into purple and she had to go to virtual learning. And um, in my mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, from home, I'm gonna be able to start filming again. This is gonna be perfect. And um, I didn't. <laughs> I did film one video where I did a huge perfume haul. So while I was at work, in my spare time at work, I did a lot of on time, Oh yeah, I'm starting to like peel. I did a lot of online shopping, which was mostly perfume. And I did a perfume haul and I bought so many perfumes that I wasn't really able to give like a really in-depth um, like review or talk about notes or anything into perfumes. And I was just showing you what I had bought. And I haven't gone over the footage yet, but at the end of filming it, I'm like, this is really long. And I literally just showed you what I bought. Um, and I think I'm still going to upload it, but I'm going to tell you now, let me just go ahead and get rid of those little balls that form. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now that the reason I'm doing that is I plan on doing like a uh, perfume collection video. Um, but the way I'm going to do my collection video starting in the new year is I'm going to go alphabetically kind of through my collection where I'm gonna actually wear those perfumes. And um, 
and I'm gonna go like in small groupings alphabetically or by house or whatever. And I'm gonna wear the perfumes, try them out and give in like an in-depth review as to like how they wear, what I get from them and all that stuff. And I do have quite a few perfume videos coming up because I've been really getting into perfumes. So I wanted to be able to do it that way. And I also wanted to be able to show you what I had in case there was anything in particular that you wanted to see first. Um, more or less, I was going to do it alphabetically, but just in case there was something that you wanted to see first, um, I could prioritize that. So that's kind of why I was doing that video. All right, so I'm going to go in with this Clinique Even Better Refresh makeup. And in case you're curious, I am in the shade WN04 Bone. And kind of dot it all over my face. All right, so um, the other thing is you might have noticed a name change to my channel. And there is a reason for that. First of all, this Autumn War 08, it doesn't really say much about my channel other than like my name in like the year I got married. <laughs> um, that's what that is, in case you were wondering. Um, so that is pretty much all that says. And um, the reason that I'm average Autumn, because you're, it's kind of like kind of weird, is because I am not just a or I'm trying not to be just like a makeup channel or just like a perfume channel. Um, because also in, on the like civilian side, I guess you would say, cause I'm a military person as well. Just on my everyday life, I do work in the fitness industry, but also I have the average body type. Overall, I'm the average person. When it comes to makeup, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm the average consumer. When it comes to perfume, I'm not a perfume snob. I really enjoy it, but I'm the average consumer. So overall, I am the average person. I'm the average consumer. And um, when it comes to um, being like the YouTuber, I still, it comes down to me being the average consumer. You see a lot of these influencers um, buying things and, um, or they're not even buying things, they're being sent things which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But I think it sways a lot of the time what they're going to say because the company, when they send them things, give them talking points. Um, and then for me, you saw my leggings review. If you haven't, I will have it linked um, up here. Whereas in a lot of these leggings, people were saying were squat proof and pretty much none of them were. Again, it, me being the um, average consumer, um, I can tell you that um, it's a little bit frustrating when, um, again, I'm the average body type of the American woman. Um, I'm a little bit taller, I guess, than the average American woman. I'm 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 but I wear a size 12 um, now that <laughs> the whole pandemic has hit. I'm teetering a little bit closer to a 14, but again, I am the average size, I would say um, mid-size, which there's a whole controversy about that, which I can make a whole video on as well, but I'm just, <sighs> when it comes down to it, I'm the average woman. And the problem is, is you have a lot of smaller women um, saying that these things are squat proof, or you have a lot of people making very aesthetic videos, which are gorgeous to look at. I like watching them too. But at the end of the day, are those things working for the average consumer? Also, um, as far as income is concerned, we are the average household as well. Like, you know, my husband um, is a public servant um, I, I guess you would say he works in law enforcement. Um, we're both military. Um, I work at a nonprofit. Um, we're not making tons of money. Um, we live in like an average home. <laughs> so when it comes down to all of that, um, we're your average consumers. Again, that's where the whole channel is stemming from. So then you see the people with these really large makeup collections and these super large homes driving these super nice cars. And again, I do have a lot of makeup and perfume, but the thing is it's about, I guess what you prioritize. Like 
I don't have a huge walk-in closet full of like clothes and purses as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Again, it's like what you prioritize. I don't prioritize clothes. Um, but for the new year, there's different things that are going to change for me as far as that goes. Um, I am starting a whole capsule closet thing to where I do want to have a nice wardrobe. Um, and you guys will go along on that journey with me. And um, it's going to be, you know, a whole thing. But my point is, um, the way I see YouTube now, the way my channel is going is from the perspective of the average American, if that just makes sense, or just the average person. You don't have to be American to watch my channel because there's a lot of people that I watch in other countries as well that are, I think are similar to me to where, um, you know, they're not eating out for every meal. Like I'm cooking my meals, which again, I'll do uh, videos on that as well. Um, where again, I don't have a huge gourmet kitchen either. Like my kitchen is an eyesore, but I will show you, um, <laughs> the meals and stuff that I cook and how I budget for, um, my family. So that is also something that I want to, um, be able, you know, to share with you guys. Um, I think a lot of this has also come to light from this entire year where a lot of people have been struggling and um, a lot of people don't want to see a lot of that content. I've seen a lot of um, people say online how insensitive it is <laughs> when people have been complaining that like their trips have been canceled um, and things like that, which I totally understand, but um, I don't know. That's I'm just letting you guys know the perspective that I'm coming from. That really turned into a tangent. So my foundation's on. Also, look here on my neck, see this? Um, so I usually only get neck breakouts if I eat a lot of sugar or a lot of dairy or I use like a new skincare item on my neck. So this right here is I use that Tula um, neck cream that's supposed to be made specifically for your neck. And um, so I used it all over my neck and I got these bad boys. So um, not sponsored. <laughs> um, so I don't think that the Tula products are for me. And I don't see them knocking on my door anytime soon for sponsorship after that endorsement. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of color corrector for my under eyes, um, which I don't need a lot, but I'm just gonna dab it in right there to the inner corners and like up into there, I think a little bit. And by the way, this is the Tarte under eye corrector. Um, I also have upcoming videos. I have a beauty pie, another one of those fun reviews of some new products and some things that I've hauled as well as I have a Sephora that when they had the friends and family sale, I bought some things then. Um, and I have those things to haul. So I've been making a little concoction lately. Um, these, um, hydrating camo concealers by e.l.f. They run a little bit dark, I think. At least the ones I got. I have light peach and light beige. Um, the colors are a little bit off for me. And then this Clarins um, Instant Concealer I'm trying to use up. It's a little bit light for me. So I've just been mixing them together until I get the right shade. So just go on the back of my hand. And mix a little bit of this one in. Might have just used a little bit too much of that. And it seems a little bit yellow. I'm um, going to put a little, little bit of the peach in. I'm really hard to match. Um, because I, of my undertone, um, I have like a olive undertone and I'm going to go over with this Sephora airbrush brush that I have. Also, I'm getting ready to rearrange my office in here. I feel like the light's extremely bright right now. Um, because over here I have a window to my right. So then I have these lights over here to balance it out. Um, in the evening, I'm able to change it a little bit um, to where it's not as bright, but since it's morning, it's not as easy. So I'm going to change my desk around to face the window to where I can get more natural light um, because I'm like super washed out. I wonder if I zoom in on my face. Actually, I think you can see me a little bit better. 
that way anyway what I'm doing although now you're like you're really in there yeah so I'm like looking in the mirror and I think it's the layers with like the sunscreen and everything I'm not liking the texture of my skin right now but I mean it's Saturday and I haven't been going anywhere so I don't think it matters all right so now I'm just gonna powder everything with this bare minerals um, duo it's their matte and glow duo I don't know if they still make this um, but you have the glow side right here and then the matte right here I like to do the matte under the eyes and then I also do the matte like in this area and then like around here and then like right here like just pretty much around the mouth and like in the center of the face I do the mat and I think a little bit right here I do the mat on the jaw and then like on the cheeks and the forehead I go in with the other and a little bit over the bridge of the nose and I go ahead and I powder down with the shiny one So now we're gonna do my eyebrows so I don't have to look at them any longer. I'm gonna comb this up and kind of go in. I don't keep them combed up the whole time. I know some people always say you have to comb up your eyebrows. Um, mine don't look good when they are combed up all the time. It's not good for my particular face shape. Um, and that's not how my eyebrows naturally grow. But I will fill them in combed up and then comb them down and um, then film fill them in some more. If I comb mine up and fill them in and keep them that way, I look like a Disney villain. I'm gonna go in now with a painterly paint pot and then just go over my lids and um, try to blank them out. Here's the thing, you have soft ochre paint pot, which again for me is too yellow, which I have, and then painterly paint pot to me leans a little bit too pink. But I feel like the pink one at least is a little bit brightening to my eye, whereas in the other one just kind of makes me look a little bit sallow. So I guess this is the, um, I guess the, the one between the two. Could there not be another option? Um, I don't know. And then I also feel like they discontinued the best color of all, which is Indian wood. Like why would they get rid of that color? Um, it's very disappointing. I'm gonna put on this Bites lip mask because my lips, I don't know if I'm not drinking enough water, if I'm like scraping my lips against my braces in my sleep, which could be because this whole situation. Um, they're constantly chapped right now. All right, so since I've kind of already powdered my face, I guess I'm gonna be using some powder products um, all over my face. I'm gonna go in with this, because it's laying out, this Laura Mercier Ritual. Do you guys remember this thing? And um, I'm just gonna try to warm up my face with that. And then I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs bronzer brush and then just kind of get it all over that. And then kind of get some on the back of my hand. Then go. Okay, so I'm gonna make some people mad here. So when you go around the perimeter of your face, do you know how like your forehead kind of kind of goes down here you really need to only do it like right here where the sun like would hit the shelf here right because the sun isn't going to hit here so if you were doing like all the way down your forehead to this point you're going too far when you do that and then you're going to get like a weird line um so I only go like up here like right on that line there if that makes sense like you don't want like a weird line well you might but 
I, I can pick it out from like a mile away when people do that and it drives me insane. Um, but like do your makeup the way you want to, but if you're trying to avoid like people being able to pick out that you've done that, um, you know, you do you. But it's hard if you're blonde to get right up in there in the hairline because now you've just put brown in your hair. Um, so you might wanna wear like a headband to do that and just dirty up your headband. And then I kinda go up and then over the top of the cheekbone. Then I use the brush that I use my foundation with. It's just like you see this line right here, and I kind of just brush over it a little bit because um, I'm not like really trying to contour a whole lot, and I don't want it to drag down. Um, I'm not really trying to do like a whole makeup like tutorial video here but I just want to get rid of any lines but like make it look like my face is just kind of bronzed. <laughs> Another thing that drives me nuts is when people suck in their cheeks to go to contour because your bone is up here and when you suck in your cheeks it goes below the teeth and that bone. So essentially what you're doing is when your cheeks are actually sucked in right there naturally if that's the place you're sucking in, that is usually, your cheeks are sucked in there naturally if you're missing teeth back there. So essentially what you're doing is if you're sucking in your teeth to put that line there, it makes it look like you're missing teeth, um, which always cracks me up. It doesn't make it look like you have a high cheekbone. It makes it look like you're missing teeth if you put your line too low. Um, so you should really look to find that line instead of sucking in your cheeks to do it that way. Um, cause if you're doing it that way, that just makes it look like you're missing teeth. It always cracks me up when people do it that way. Um, pro tip, <laughs> although I'm not a pro, I just, that's how bone structure works. Um, but anyway, I'm going to make so many people mad with this video. Nobody's going to watch it. I haven't posted videos in months and the way the YouTube algorithm works is, um, consistency is key. So like, I know that. So like... Sorry guys, like, well, not sorry, but you know, life goes on. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna pull this thing out and use it because I've had it for, I would say well over a year now and I've maybe used it two to three times. I'm gonna layer them for dimension. I was gonna do a mixture, but I think layering gives better dimension. So I think the first one I wanna do is this one right here. And I'm just gonna get that on this brush. And I'm just gonna kinda go in a triangle here. So if you go from your pupil here, and then up right here. Not going too low, it's right on. You can kinda bring it higher, but like not to droop it too low. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but like our test of our emergency system is going on here. And then whatever's left over, just kind of from the corner of the eye right here. Okay, and then now I'm going to layer on the orange shade. Maybe I'll zoom you in for this because I feel like you can see the color better and just zoom you right in. And then I'm going to take a little bit of um, them both here on my brush now that I've used the brush over right here on the nose. And then kind of like Okay, I'll zoom you back out. I'm going to use this highlighting brush and go ahead and dip it in. I feel like this isn't very precise and I get it like all over my cheek though, but I feel like if I go too precise, it doesn't diffuse it. Like I need something, I'm sure I have something, but... Right up 
up here. And then under the bottom here. All right, so let's do something to the eyes. I like how the face is looking fresh and glowy. Um, I always get the face fresh and glowy and then I go one of two ways. I feel like I do too much on the eyes and then I look heavy or then I don't do enough on the eyes and then I see a picture of myself and then like I feel like there's not enough. So let's try to figure out what we can do on the eyes to wear we find a happy medium. Right, so actually what I haven't used um, on camera at all because I hardly ever film a video and I think I've only swatched this thing, I might have used it once and I actually just totally forgot that I had it, um, is this Raw Beauty Christie palette. Um, I ordered it and then it took months to get here and then um, when I got it, it went in my drawer and I completely forgot about it. So, I usually don't go for colorful stuff, but maybe if I like do something graphic, should I do something graphic or should I just stay with my neutral? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I have some brushes here, all of which are dirty. Um, that's another thing I need to take care of. So I don't know why, but this dandelion yellow color is calling to me i don't know i think i'm going to stay on the neutral side but still try to make it somewhat edgy and graphic edgy and graphic for me though is like i don't know not edgy and graphic for anybody else so we'll just we'll see what happens so first so that my face kind of stays somewhat cohesive i am going to dip back into my ritual bronzer and use that kind of just to kind of contour my eye a little bit the outer portion okay so the shade Camelot is calling to me so I'm gonna put that on the inner corner and we'll see what happens So Camelot is going on a little bit deeper than I had anticipated it would be. So it's a little bit darker on the skin than it is in the pan. So maybe I should have used Dandelion on the other side. So let's layer Dandelion on top. Yep, I should have used Dandelion. So we'll go over with Dandelion. Let's diffuse that. Maybe I'll use the highlight I used on my face on the inner corner. I think that's what I want to do. Little pop. Yep. And then a little dusting right here. And then I'm going to do a winged liner, which I never do. And the only re the reason I normally don't do a winged liner is because my eyes are crooked. <laughs> so um, one of my eyes is higher up than the other. So then the wing makes it really obvious. Um, so usually um, I we'll maybe do a soft shadow or something like that. But I'm gonna do just a really tiny wing. There we go, there's one. There's the other. I didn't wanna do a huge one and then I'm going to 
curl my lashes and put on my mascara. Um, also, this makeup look is not really looking like a winter <laughs> look to me. This is more of like a fall look. Um, but it was just calling to me today, like a fresh look. Like a, like a fresh, warm look. I don't know. So let's choose a mascara from the drawer. I need to like revamp all my mascaras in my drawer. And like, I usually do a turn over every season and like we're just on the cusp of a new season. So, you know, but I am going to use, this is like a newer one, the L'Oreal Voluminous. So I am going to put this one on. I usually use my um, Beauty Pie um, primer with this one. And I maybe you should have done that to like amp up this look, but I ended up, I don't know why I didn't do that. All right, so my camera overheated. And so I decided to just go ahead, finish up my mascara and then go and do my hair. And I did two coats of the L'Oreal Voluminous. And I guess now we will go ahead and um, do lips. Normally, I don't like any color on my lips. And I don't really even know what would look good with this look just because um, even though it's looking pretty um, neutral, to me, it's kind of a statement eye. Um, but let's play around with a couple of colors. And I keep looking up here in the monitor, so that's why you see me doing that. But let's play around with a couple colors, see what looks good. We can always wipe it off. I'm gonna grab a tissue really fast. All right, got my tissue. Let's dig around on my drawer here. So my first inclination is to keep it nice and fresh. And so like a liner in like a Dior lip glow. Okay, so maybe if I went for a little bit more color, I do have like this Dior Lip Glow in the Matte Raspberry. I think that might be fun. And I have right here this um, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. So let's just go ahead and color in. to like put my lips together around the braces in my mouth okay so I have that on and then I'm just gonna go over with this <laughs> Um, bright lip for me. It's getting brighter. So I'm going to take this blot. Okay, and actually I like this lip. I think I'm just going to keep it. Um, yeah, and I guess I'll just spray my face. I maybe should have done that before mascara, but my hair is driving me nuts. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray my face. And to spray my face, I just use the Maybelline Lasting Fix. And then this is the finished look. Um, I actually really like it. So anyway, that is it for the look and the chat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I have my Sephora haul, my Beauty Pie review, uh, tons of fragrance videos. I also have a capsule wardrobe uh, video that I have coming up. Um, and a few others in the work. If you have any requests, let me know. And 
I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.